Okay, yeah, hi there. Um, this is Friday. This is going to be a very brief uh, little overview. Uh, you probably know it's non-farm payroll today. Uh, I just want to, you know, I'm a little bit pleased. It's, uh, as you can see, the time is 8.26. Uh, my children are still here because they've got starting late for school. Uh, now, what I did is I come in, we're on the, uh, oh, let me, let me change to the 15 minute chart. So technically, usually I don't like trading the open. Uh, it can be very tricky sometimes. There's a lot of volatility. So generally, I don't trade the open, or at least I wait 15 minutes for them to sort themselves out before I trade it. And sure enough, uh, when I opened my charts, done my morning um, preparation, which is to read up about what's happening in the markets overnight, for the sentiment, had a brief look at the economic calendar, then had a look at the, obviously looked at my uh, my account uh, size, etc. What it is I wanted to do, and then I opened up my platform as you can see here now, and uh, I, this is it. I've done my trade. I, I came in at uh, I came in at fifty, uh, loaded it all up to fifteen pound a point, and came out at seventy one. Now. Can't really see it so good here, but 50 is about, about here, okay? 71 is the pivot point here. And so I'm, I'm out. I've got some appointments to do today. It's non-farm payroll. I may or may not trade. Fridays for me tends to be a little bit unlucky. So just to show you what the end result is, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a bit crazy, but it's like that. I wish it was like that every day looks like a bernie madoff chart there doesn't it yeah uh this is the actual uh i don't know days if you like uh one trade one hit you know the sniper trade if you like it's 100 percent um who knows uh, you know i might actually just leave it today uh i'm just focused for the week uh for, for next week proper yeah uh but there, there is there's no, there's no data really it's just that that's what's been done Okay, so that's it. That's the end of the, the session uh, uh, for this week. You've got a whole week uh, view of trading and how I trade the DAX. Uh, let me put this down. Put all this down. Yeah, that's the thing. Question is, could it go higher? I deliberately came out at that pivot point because I knew that there'd be a bit of resistance. Uh, when there's non-farm payroll, to be honest, there isn't really much dramatic movement because nobody wants to put their balls on the line uh, before the figure, okay? So a lot of stuff, what is going around in between now and uh, 1.30 is that's, as they say in German, Puppenspieler and Mummenschanzer, okay? Okay then, uh, thank you for your time and uh, we'll call it a day. Okay, uh, hi there. Uh, this is a postscript uh, to my initial report. I just want to take you through the last, well, basically, uh, since I started uh, a fresh uh, trading, which was uh, last week, mid last week. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll show you in terms of the uh, the results, if you like. Uh, so let me just share screen. So uh, here you can see, see, here you can see that uh, I started off uh, pretty well, had a little bit of a dip, and then I recovered, recovered very strongly, only to have a massive, massive sort of like a turbulence, if you like, there. I fought valiant, valiantly to try and bring it back up again, only for it to be pulled down, as you can see. Um, and then between here and here, it's just been a fight, a total fight, a fight of wits. Now you need to uh, appreciate from a psychological point of view, you know, what that, you know, the sort of toll that can take on your mind uh, in terms of your confidence, your determination and motivation as to, to want to try and succeed if you can succeed. Also, there is a, um, a challenge to 
your grub stake and the amount on which you can trade to see whether or not you can carry on, you know, have enough ammunition, enough bullets to keep on fighting. So I managed to pull it through here, okay? Uh, and I got it back up to that level, that, that level there, I've managed to get back to that level. And interestingly enough, from a psychological point of view, I get it to that level, then it's dipped, and then I've come back to that level again. And then it's dipped, and then I've support, finally surpassed that level, and then dipping again, and again, yeah? So the equity curve is almost acting a bit like a, a chart sometimes. Now, in pounds, shillings, and pence, what does that mean? Uh, let's bring it over. Pounds, shillings, and pence, what, what it means is that um, I, my uh, win ratio is uh, 60%. Yeah. Total trades 159. Winning 94. Losing 65. Okay. Um, this is the total amount I've actually won over the period. That's the total amount I've actually lost over the period. And that leaves me with a net result of 4,000, uh, let's say 600. Okay. Uh, given my uh, grub state was precisely 4,750, that gives me a profitability over that short period of 96%, okay? So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna leave you what my um, standard uh, sort of uh, uh, trading plan is, uh, and I think we'll just leave it at that. Thank you very much. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, well, this is a postscript, postscript, uh, and this is definitely a do as I say, not as I do. Massive warnings in terms of risk. If you like skydiving, or if you like doing white water rafting on the, the, the river, the you know, Lake uh, Zambezi, or if you like sort of uh, exploring the jungle, or being on top of a mountain for four months, all of which I've done, this is the type of trading which you can do. If you, if you don't mind spinning everything on one spin and toss and not making a word about your loss, this is the sort of trade you do, okay? Uh, but I suppose the only main lesson to do is to get the skills in which to manage a trade, manage your trading. So if you remember on the, uh, the, the previous uh, clip, uh, I was up 350, uh, it was 8.30. Uh, I took a bit of a break, yeah. Uh, then I figured that all the target was going to go to there just before number four on the payroll, take all the stops out before it moved anywhere. So I was edging for it to go and get 200, an extra 200 pounds. This is the thing about when you make money quickly, you think it's easy. I was waiting around, waiting around, and then of course the biggest figure of the month came out. The biggest figure. I was in at 15 pounds a point, 20 pounds a point. As you can see, wang, I took a massive, massive hit. All my winnings, I gave back. My um, account went down to about 2,000 of the 5,000, which I had, okay? Uh, I sort of composed myself, went in again, figuring that there'll be a retracement uh, because the figures were quite strong actually, but didn't indicate that it was necessary to uh, uh, raise interest rates. Uh, and other than that, uh, most of the other figures were bang on. So I couldn't understand the hysteria of why it was dropping. Anyway, I came in again, prepared to take a, a, a hit of a loss around here, and it started working its way up, and I was very pleased, okay? I got to a scratch around here. It needs to be to that level before, needs to be that level before uh, I make that extra 200 pound I was trying to get on top of my 350, okay? Unfortunately, no. It went all the way back down again, and I lost it. All my gains I lost. I was absolutely beside myself. I had to compose myself, sit down, have a cup of tea, came back, saw this hammer, went full in, 20 pounds a point. Um, if I had a lost, I would have had only um, about a thousand pounds remaining out of my five thousand pounds. It was that bad. 
hang in there, gritted teeth, uh, coming up to the close of the day. It hovered about here. Uh, this is the, the figure what I needed for it to break, this pivot point. As it hovered around here, I lost my bottle and I came out, came out to a profit. As you can see, it's gone up to 83 now. Would done, would have made an extra 1,600 quid. So, in closing, this is what my day looked like. Okay, yeah, there, well, there I'm up uh, about 350 pounds. I took that massive, massive hit all the way down, made all that money back. On, I called it my the trade, I called it is the uh, torpedoed boat sailing back to hard harbor trade yeah it's that sort of trade where it's a make or break yeah you know the old uh, world war ii films black and white where the boat's been torpedoed many times it's having sailed in the atlantic it's got a massive hole in the stern whatever it is and it's just gonna make it chug and rock pray that there's no more uh, uh, submarines in, in the ocean pray that there's not a big rough sea just try to make it back to harbour. That was the trade here. I call it the slow boat, the, the torpedo boat back to harbour trade. Okay, so um, on the scores on the doors, I walked away with uh, 412 pounds, so an extra 62 pounds. Uh, having before I'd only done one or sort of uh, three trades here, I've ended up doing 27 trades to get that money back. Okay, highly risky, don't recommend it. Don't recommend it at all. I think there's a lot going for it if you say, you know, to know when to quit. Know when to quit. Okay, that's it, That that's the last post. Just don't, you know, it's a hell raising day. That's what I can say, hell raising. Well, that's the end of another video. Thank you for your time. If you liked it, please subscribe like and also share to three of your friends to spread the word.